Om Shanti. This is the Abhyakt Murli of 21st of December, 1983. And the title is The Secret of Instant Charity. Today, Baba, the bestower of wisdom, the bestower of blessings, is seeing all the deeply loving and server children from all directions. Even though some were very far away, all the powerful children were very close through their specialty of love, through the relationship of love and the clarity and the cleanliness of the intellect. They were able to have the experience of being very close face to face through the third eye, that is, through divinity, the intellect, the eye, was able to experience a far off scene very clearly, as if on television. Just as with the perishable equipment of the perishable old world, television is able to show special programs just by simply switching on in the same way. At a particular moment, at a special time, children can sit with the switch of consciousness switched on, and through this faraway vision, children can experience scenes far away to be very close. And by seeing Bab Dada in this way, they will be very happy. And so, at this one moment, Bab Dada is seeing the double congregation. Today, Brahma Baba in particular was remembering the children and seeing their results. He was seeing how all the children were moving within the Brahmin life, the speed of effort, the closeness to the stage of perfection, and according to the time, how close they are to the destination. All are moving, but with what speed? Out of all, scarcely a few always moved with one speed, that is, constantly with intense speed. Seeing the scenes of the children, Bab Dada asked a question on behalf of the children. Why? Even though the children are now full of knowledge, that is, they understand the three aspects of time, and they understand effort and result, and they understand method and attainment. So why are they still unable to maintain intense speed all the time? What was the answer that was given? They understand the reason. They understand the method and the solution, but are still unable to change the cause into the solution. Baba smiled and spoke to Brahma Baba. Many children have a habit, which is very old and very strong. What is that? What do they do? Baba wants them to have the immediate fruit, that is, to eat fresh fruit. But in bondage to their habit, they allow the fresh fruit to become withered and stale, and only then do they eat it. They say, we will do it. It will happen. It has to happen. Yes, I want to be in the first number. I want to enter the rosary. By thinking in this way and making plans, they make the immediate fruit become the fruit of the future. We will do it means future fruit. To think and to do means to eat the immediate fruit. Children eat less of the fresh fruit, whether in terms of plants for the self or plants for service. What is it that brings power? Is it fresh fruit or is it withered fruit? Many have this habit and they say, we will eat it. We will eat it. By continuing like this, the freshness is lost and the fruit becomes dry and withered. Here also, 
Many children say, if this happens, then we will do it. They think a great deal about things like this. Have the thought or receive a direction and do it instantly. Instead of this, the direction is also allowed to lose its freshness and become stale. Then they think, well, I did it according to the directions, but there wasn't the result. Why not? Because time was allowed to lapse. It means that the special lines of fortune of that moment changed. Fortune is always connected with a particular period of time. When the time changes, the atmosphere, the attitude, the vibrations, everything changes. This is why it has been said that instant donation is the greatest charity. If, when a direction is received, you do it at once with enthusiasm, it means that the return for this service is receiving fresh fruit. By accepting this, that is, by attaining this, the soul becomes powerful and automatically moves with intense speed. Everyone eats the fruit, but check, what is the quality of fruit that you eat? Brahma Baba wants all children to have the fresh fruit and to become powerful souls. So he is giving them the thought of moving ahead with intense speed. Constantly keep this thought of Brahma Baba in your consciousness. At all times, through every elevated action, enjoy the fresh fruit. Then no form of weakness or sickness will come. Brahma Baba was smiling. What is the advice that the limited doctors give at the present time? They say, eat everything fresh. Don't burn it. Don't roast it. Don't change its form before you eat it. Eat as it is. This is what they say. And so Brahma Baba also tells the children, whatever Srimati you receive, at that moment, in whatever form you receive it, let it instantly take practical form in that way. Through this, you will become like the Father, like Brahma, the one who gives instant donation and becomes the greatest charitable soul. You will enter the number one line. Brahma Baba and Jagadamba, both souls, have claimed the right of the very first kingdom. And so, what was the specialty that you saw in both? The thought came and it was done. They didn't think that we will do this after something has happened. This was their specialty. And so become the great charitable souls and follow the father and mother by eating the fruit of charitable, elevated action. Through this, become constantly powerful. Then there will not be the slightest weakness in thoughts or even in the dreams. Some are moving constantly with such intense speed, but scarcely only a few. Brahma Baba is the creator of the corporeal world. And because he is the one who has played the part of giving sustenance in corporeal form, he is able to give special love to the children who are playing their part in corporeal form. If there is special love for someone, then their weakness is felt to be one's own weakness. Brahma Baba, on seeing this weakness of the children, feels special love. He wants the children to become powerful for all time. Now, to become intense effort makers constantly. Now, and to reach the flying stage now. Only then will the children be liberated from laboring again and again. You have heard the thoughts of Brahma Baba. The children are merged in Brahma Baba's eyes. 
Do you know what is the special language of Brahma? What does he say? Again and again, he says one thing, my children, my children. And Baba smiles, because yes, you are Brahma's children. This is why even your surname is Brahma Kumar and Brahma Kumari, not Shiv Kumar or Shiv Kumari. It is Brahma who will come with you in a variety of names and forms. It is Brahma who will stay with you for the longest period of time. You are the mouth-born progeny of Brahma. The father is with you, but in the corporeal, it is the part of Brahma. Acha, we will have more of the heart-to-heart -heart conversation later. Within this group, the rivers have come from three particular directions. The double foreigners are the incognito Ganges because it isn't their turn yet. Now, it is the turn of Delhi, Karnatak, and Maharashtra. First, the meeting of these particular rivers, and then a little bit extra for the foreigners. Whoever comes according to their turn comes to claim their right. The double foreigners have come running. They have come here to claim their right in advance, and so they are also loved. The double foreigners receive extra treasures on top of their actual share, but they will also receive it according to their own turn. The children from all around are especially loved by Bab Dada because each place has its own specialty. Delhi is the place of the seed of service and Karnatak and Maharashtra are the expansion of the tree. Just as the seed is below and the expansion of the tree appears to be more, likewise, Delhi is the seed. Ultimately, it is fun to be more. Likewise, Delhi is the seed. Ultimately, it is from the land of the seed that the sand will emerge. But now, it is Karnatak, Maharashtra and Gujarat. All these places have special expansion. The beauty of the tree is in the expansion. The expansion of service is Karnatak, and Maharashtra is the beauty of the Brahmin tree. The tree appears beautiful and decorated. They ask you two particular questions. Firstly, they ask you about the expenses of the organization. And secondly, they ask you about the numbers of Brahmins. In the terms of the numbers, both Maharashtra and Karnatak are the decoration of the Brahmin family. The specialty of the seed is its own. If the seed were not there, the tree could not have emerged. Now, the seed is a slightly incognito role and the expansion of the tree is small. However, if all of you had not gone to Delhi at the beginning, there would be no foundation of service. From here, the first invitation was received and so everything began from Delhi. It became the place for service at the beginning and it will also become the place for the kingdom in the future. It was the first place that Brahmins stepped foot on, and so it has become a pilgrimage place, and it will also become the place of the kingdom. There is also a great deal of praise for the foreign lands. The sound of revelation that will emerge from foreign lands in particular, will reach this land. If it wasn't for the foreign lands, how could there be revelation in this land? Foreign lands are very important. Upon hearing the sound from abroad, the people of Bharat were awakened. It is foreign lands that will be responsible for emerging the sound of revelation. This is the importance of foreign lands but only externally, superficially. Seeing the hope and enthusiasm 
of the elevated souls in foreign lands, those of this land also experience greater hope and enthusiasm. This part of incognito service is also theirs. Therefore, each one has their own specialty. Acha, to those souls who constantly give instant donation and so become the great charitable souls, to those who are constantly fast effort makers in thinking and doing, to those who at every second, in every thought, eat the fruit of service, to those who are constantly powerful and follow the father and follow the mother, to those who bring Brahma Baba's thoughts into corporeal form, to such powerful children of this land and abroad, Babdada's love, remembrance, and namaste. Om Shanti.